Okay, so these were the horror scenes over Wexford this morning. And this is the first little bit of blue sky that we've seen in days. And the engineered chemical cloud cover that has been shrouding our atmosphere for the last few days is moving off southward there over the Irish Sea. And you can see it's just absolutely black, thick black cloud cover. And we've had high pressure for the last few days. And we should not have had black cloud cover. We should have had lovely blue skies. And this is the first sign of blue skies that we've had here in days. And straight away just chemtrails, chemicals just everywhere from earlier trails. And just frequency interference here from technologies. Um, Ground-based technologies, satellite-based technologies. Um, who knows? The whole array of global um, weather modification and climate engineering tools is just astounding what they have at their disposal and here we are moving around further just frequency clouds chemtrails just horrific absolutely horrific it's just like scenes from another planet i mean anybody that thinks that their natural cloud creations needs their head checked you need a reality check unbelievable and going back over here now right there we've got a patch of what looks like nice blue sky and this is what we should be having today because today is high pressure and we've had high pressure for days so as I said that's what we should have had for the last few days further again just an absolute chemical and frequency mess just an absolute abomination okay so this is about half an hour later and see it's moving off further there but look along the edge of that engineer cloud system moving off to the south you can see a big huge big chemtrail being laid right in the edge of it and you always see that I always talk about this you always see it and that gives them much more control by over the cloud system by uh, enhancing the electrical circuitry of the uh, cloud layer and look at there Let's see frequency interference right there look at that all those lines equally spaced apart so you can see there's algorithms being pulsed into that cloud cover and looking then from the satellite and we see that again here it's all over down towards Cornwall this is later in the day now so what I was filming there is down about here now and look at all over UK and further over Holland Germany frequencies look at wavelengths all the way along unbelievable so that was here that was the black cloud that you were looking at at the first of the video along there that was the little bit of a space that we were looking at and then this was the nice blue patch coming here so look at again uh, this is just a straight line um, for almost 1500 miles completely unnatural um, this is going back to yesterday actually again look at yesterday over Ireland being hammered again with frequencies from whatever technology lasers from space harp CERN Hadron Collider who knows I don't know can't say for sure but look at again a straight line running for almost 2,000 miles there out in the Atlantic just completely unnatural absolutely and so this is a good bit later on in the day and as you can see nice blue skies well as blue as we get these days lots of white from all the chemtrails been sprayed but um very short little um trails been sprayed um only lasting a couple of seconds but filling up the atmosphere loading it with particulates and but as blue as we get these days as i said and so we're looking south again and there is the edge of going back to today we're looking at the edge of this here and as you can see look at 
again just spraying the living daylights out of the edge of that there again same as earlier on and just moving that's looking over Kilmore Key Kilmore Key Church and moving along here again just trails everywhere moving over towards the Sun and just again trails inlaid all over the place and there we have it so yeah relatively nice day for the rest of the day it's now five o'clock in the evening so we've had a nice few hours of sunshine which is very unusual these days to see so there we go the manipulation of our atmosphere today over Wexford this is what you're paying for ladies and gentlemen you are paying for these programs uh, to block out the Sun this is taxpayers money according to the solar radiation management governance initiative which is one of the think tank organizations that sells uh, the idea of solar radiation management to various governments around the world and here is the stakeholder partners Greenpeace and World Wildlife Fund and in this um, document which is available online but they have since taken away this um, piece and in this here they talked about um, legalizing and um, governing solar radiation management but here they say involve the general public because a they pay for it and b they have the power to stop it keep them informed on what geoengineering is for but don't necessarily ask their permission so you are you are paying to be poisoned and to have the sun blocked out these people are killing us folks and you're paying for it you should be livid.